this is Aman Pickard from the Nanak Dev University and I'm a legal intern at Lexan Company. So the purpose of today's video is basically to get to know about anti-defection law. So what are these? So anti-defection law was inserted in the Indian constitution in 1985 by the 52nd amendment act of 1985. So we can see that uh, at that time Rajiv Gandhi's government was the main initiator for the introduction of this law. So the 52nd amendment of the constitution inserted the 10th schedule in which provisions were uh, made by which legislature can be disqualified on the grounds of defection uh, to any other political party so the issue of disqualification on the ground of defection may be raised by any member of the house and it is referred to the chairman or the speaker of house so we can say that the decision of the chairman or the speaker of the concerned house is final and it is binding in nature However, the decision of the speaker or the chairman of the house is open for the judicial review. We can get a judicial review if we want. So the anti-defection law is applicable to both the houses of the parliament and also to the state leg uh, we can say state assemblies or state legislatures. Anti-defection law, it is in practice not only in India but is practiced in various other countries like Bangladesh, South Africa, Kenya, etc. So the, what is the noble purpose of anti-defection law? Uh, the noble purpose of anti-defection law is to bring stability to the government. So it stands to reason if it was limited to votes deciding the fate of a government. But the law allows political parties to disqualify legislature for voting against the party line inside the legislature and also the anti-party conducts outside it. So we can say the law is even applicable to Rajya Sabha's MPs who have no mandate to vote out a government. Over the years, parties uh, have also used the anti-defection law as a part of a toolkit to weaken their opposition or topple a government. Uh, if a political party has a very few number of a few number of legislators in a state, a larger party lures two-thirds of its MLAs into its fold and a practice permitted under the anti-defection law. If that fails, some MLAs are convinced to support a government and uh, pressure is exerted on Vidhan Sabha speakers to delay their disqualification. The trend these days is to convince legislature uh, to resign. So now the question arises: what are the selling features of the anti-defection law? Uh, so first of all comes the members belonging to any pol uh, political party. A legislature who is a member of any political party may be disqualified if uh, any legislature voluntarily gives up, uh, gives up his membership from such political party. The second thing is that if any legislature belonging to any political party votes or abstains from voting in the house contrary to the directions already issued by that political party or the other one is that for nominated uh, members of a house that uh, if a nominated member of a house may be disqualified if uh, he declares to join any other political party after six months of uh, taking her or his seat in that house after complying with the provision of uh, article 99 or article 188 of the constitution they then comes uh, members elected otherwise than as a candidate uh, set up by any political party so for those members uh, who are elected as an independent candidate may be disqualified on the ground of defection if he joins any political party after the election so there also comes exceptions under the uh, anti-defection law. So what are those? A legislature shall not be disqualified if his original or initial political party merges with any other political party. Or uh, the second one is that if he or she and other member of her or his old political party takes a membership of the new political party. And the third one we can see that if he or she and other poli uh, other members of her or his old political party do not accept the merger and decide to function as a separate group. So 
this was all about anti defection law so if you like this video then put a thumbs up on this video and also like and subscribe to the channel x click and if you have any query regarding it then mention it in the comment box also this does not solicit any promotion or advertisement as per the bar council of india's guidelines and it is for uh, the educational purpose only thank you